Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back again to the channel. Today's episode, we are going to be here in Fremantle area because this is where I learned how to fish before. And yeah, it's nice to be back here doing a little bit of a fishing session. Um, yeah, we will try to go squidding first. So that's our squid jig that we're going to use first. So that's an old one. It used to be an orange one, but now it's like an old silver one so we will give that a try a little bit and then we got our prawns as well so we are going to try if we can catch some herring here or some a little bit of um brim if we can catch some brim flathead and later on maybe tailors when it gets a little bit you know a bit dark so yeah let's start um fishing for squid first then we will try to cast our um, prawn that we bought and see how it goes Woo! exciting all right so we are going to just put this rod together guys this is just a one to two kilogram or one to three kilogram of rod 10 pound line and a little bit of short leader line there you know just to deceive those it's great that our jig is just swimming by itself so yeah, they will get this one. All right. First cast. Oh, that's quite good. Hope there are some squids here. I've never caught a squid here, guys, before. Uh, so I'm always fishing for, you know, some tailors and herrings, but never tried squidding in this area. Oh yes, first squid guys, that didn't take long, it is a good squid, a tiny one, but <laughs> it is a squid, means to say, oh, this squid jig is still working, <laughs> Whoop look at that, oh, <laughs> nice squid, Woo. Look at that squid, guys! Oh, <laughs> that is a tiny squid. You know, um, yeah, I can use this as a bait later on, or I can take it home. <laughs> look at that squid; it's the same size as our jig. Oh, look at that! First time for me to catch squid in this area, guys. So, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. You know guys this is my favorite rig before and i'm trying to you know um use it again and see if it's still effective or if we can get some fish herrings or yeah brims whatever's done there so what i did for this sinker not to go up and down we're just gonna have to insert it from top to bottom and then insert it again top to bottom insert it again from top to bottom of the hole three times and that will stay there so after that, I have like a um, 600, 700 mil of, you know, line, leader line. And then we will just put our long shank hook. I really like long shank hook guys because, you know, it can easily be removed from the fish's mouth. So just like that, a clinch knot will be okay because there's just smaller fish. Turn it like that, then insert it there, and like that. Oop, that should be fine. Oop, another very sharp scissor. Then we'll put our shrimp or prawn. Let the hook exposed there, so when the fish takes it, woo, awesome. All right, oh no, the duck. 
the ugly duckling. No, don't worry, we're far away. Done, guys. Fish, oi, what is this fish? Oh, maybe a brim. Oh, yes, it's a brim. <laughs> yes, it's a brim. Oh, small brim. Oh. That is a very small brim. That's our first fish, guys. It's running a bit. Alright guys, that is a brim. Look at that brim. How shiny it is, but yeah, it's, it's a bit small. So we need to bring it back quickly into the water. Whew. Bye Brimbo. There it is. Alright guys, so the first set up that we did, nothing's really biting on it, so yeah, it's really pretty quiet. So what we're going to do now is to, yeah, I got my long, you know, I've got my heavier rig here, which is, you know, the bigger hooks, longer um, rod and our Padenoster rig. That's the Sinka that we always use. We are now aiming to cast a bit further there and see if the fishes are out there. So same bait guys, we're going to use our prawn hook oh, that's too long, too big. But yeah, like that. Just want to make sure when I cast, it doesn't fly off the hook. So if you can like, yeah, maybe poke your bait two or three times. Yep, it's fine. And also... This one here and see if we can get away with the blowies. I hate this bloody blowies. Alright. See. Some guys are trying to you know get some squid. I got the squid a while ago, but yeah after that there's nothing at all. So let's try. If you can get a decent one, casting a bit further. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, see that? Oh, that's that one. Oh. Yeah, fish on, guys. <laughs> what is this fish? Oh, it fits a little bit heavy. Oh, it flies like a brim. Brims sometimes are deceiving. You reckon there are big ones, but it's a big blowy. <laughs> oh no, it's this one. Oh, butterfish! Oh, look at that fish! <laughs> this is a big butterfish. Oh, we can use this as a bait later on, but for now, yeah, we're going to keep it. Oh, the sun is about to set now, and the fishes are all out, man. Guys, well, it's a big butterfish again. Yeah, it's a big... Yeah, it's a big butterfish again. Oh. It's, it's butterfish. They are big ones. <laughs> Look at this butterfish. It flies so hard because it is so big. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. Nice. Another fish on. But I reckon it's another butterfish. <laughs> yes, it's another butterfish. Oh, oh Jesus, this butterfish is so big. Look at that. Oh really good for bait so later on we will spend like few few hours of like casting this over there and we will see if these ones are good for bait look at the sunset guys so yeah it means that we need to end this session today because we're not really prepared so so we got those um, butterfish that we did put a bait here right now so we are hoping that we can catch a tailor or a snapper but 
yeah it looks like there's none so yeah better luck next time guys hopefully i see you guys in the next video thank you and wherever you are stay safe guys and keep fishing and i'm still going to wait here see you in the next video guys